All right, so um, rates of tan change in tangent lines. We looked at the connection between the tangent line and the secant line. I think visually is the, the way to remember it here. Graphically, what you're doing is you're trying to, if you want to find the slope of this tangent line somewhere, you are doing it by writing an expression for the slope of the secant line through two points, right? And then you're using limits to push the two points together, okay? So that's what we're doing because the, the more you push the points together, the more the secant line approaches the tangent line. So that's, that's what's with our expression here. We are writing some kind of expression for the slope of the tangent line. Remember that h is just the distance in between the x values. And then you're just looking at the difference in the heights. That, that expression there is just the slope formula that you already know. And then this new part is just using limits to see what happens as you push the points together. We went through and did it for a specific example here. And you can, you can check it. Again, we, I think right at the end we looked at checking it on the calculator. There's that tangent, draw tangent function on the calculator. Uh, I think I left you, or you, you were working at the end on this problem here. And you found that uh, we added a question, finding the slope at 5. Do you remember looking at the calculator? I mean, it'd be helpful to know how to check this thing on the calculator. I'm pretty sure we looked at it, but quickly again here. Uh, there it is. Look at that. Haven't used my virtual calculator since last class. Um, that's that's just drawing the tangent line for that curve at that point. Uh, if you want to do it again here, uh, actually, if you draw the tangent line, the only way to get rid of it is to go clear draw, and then it gets rid of drawing. So it's not graphing it like a function; it's drawing it on there. So checking that tangent line, draw a tangent, and you have to pick an x value, and I think we wanted it at 5, right? So that's just that. And then you just have to look at the slope again. We talked about you can't trust this calculator down to those decimals because it's not actually doing what you're doing. It's just picking two points really close together, like a you know, point zero zero one apart and calculating the slope. So it's not doing limits. It's less sophisticated than you are. It's just making h really small and actually calculating it. Okay, so you can check your check your answers that way. But you do have to you do know have to, have to know how to do them algebraically. I know we ran into some tricky algebra that you have to remember. I, I don't want you to get hung up on all that. Don't lose sight of the actual concept here of finding the tangent line. This I threw in just because you know it's not a big deal, but if you if you need to calculate a normal line, you have to remember something from grade 10 here. What is a what is a normal line to a, or a normal to a curve? If you have a curve like this, the tangent is, let's say if you talk about the tangent right here, it's like that. What's the normal to a curve? Yeah, perpendicular to that, right? So it's perpendicular to the tangent line at that point. This is a right angle here. You remember how the slopes are uh, are related here? If the slope of this is, if the slope of this is uh, what here? The slope of this is two thirds. What's the slope of the black one here? Negative three halves, right? So you have to you have to know that relationship, and then it's easy, right? If you can you can use this to find the slope of the tangent, and then use that grade ten concept to find the slope of the normal line. And go through and find an equation. If you're trying to find an equation, you have to go back and you know find the y-intercept and and everything. So I'll let you work on that problem in a minute. Is this yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. You're going to find the slope of the tangent because we have a definition for the slope of the tangent, right? The if you think about the the picture, uh, it's not going to let us find a line this way. You know, you're finding the 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 tangent we're finding because we're doing this again, right? And then as soon as you know that, you instantly know the other one. <clears throat> I think we've we got ahead of ourselves before, and we can already do this, but this is the problem we started with in this whole unit. We had something uh, falling according to that equation in feet and seconds. 
Um, how could you work out its instantaneous velocity at any time t? You can set up the same thing, right? Slope of the tangent. Okay, work out the slope of that tangent line. That's the speed. If you want to find it now, if you want to find it at 1, you can you set up your expression the same way as before. It always helps to start by, if you want the slope of the tangent line, start with this definition, right? Limit as h approaches 0. That's the distance in between again. f of well, t plus h, I guess, in this case, minus f of t over h. <coughs> and then use the actual function. Okay, and so on. You can you can go about filling this in here. I would like you to take a few minutes and work on each of those problems. Oh, went too far. Uh, maybe first do the the speed one, this one, and then go back and try and find the the normal line, the equation, not just the slope, the equation. So be able to say y equals. You can put it in slope-intercept form if you want, or some other form. Okay, do this one first, and then uh, and then we'll talk about what else we're going to do today. Okay, any questions? <coughs>